So this is the second part of serial multiplier that I started. I was thinking of I'll do all that in one video, but somebody knocked at the door, so I had to stop that video. And I tried to save time, so instead of combining them, the two videos together and editing them, I just just upload whatever I do it. Um, so I I don't cut any videos. I just send those video as is. So what I was saying that it's important that you do this example yourself the same example and after that i have not created any any quizzes or labs yet but take a different example and do that yourself and really make sure because this this algorithm this this can be a little tricky it's not very difficult but it, it can be confusing so practice it and don't be overwhelmed if you don't understand it what i typically do is if i don't understand something just leave it at that time in a few hours come back and redo it and I'm sure it will work and if not go third do it the same thing third time okay let's get started so this is shift and add and if you remember that then it's really good because you will understand that so again what overall we are talking about two four bit numbers one is multiplicand one is multiplier so if you think of that um, initially your s um actually i'm missing something you you will see that I, I will correct that myself we will talk about it but there is a carry part there too so the typical again it's, it's the same thing you did before but uh, we start with this is um maybe i should explain this structure i think i need to explain both of them together but this is our four bit adder these are two numbers and you see this number multiplicand which is a I've stored here then this number B which is multiplier I have stored in this register I calling them reg reg means register so this is same as this then we have an a four bit adder okay it getting first um, addition of a first number for, which is the multiplicand a register a and its second number is oh, I think this is not the right way uh, one second and as I told you I will be correcting things okay so carry is there for sure I'm not come on okay so carry is there but there is a carry bit but the 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 numbers that um, are going back what I wanted to make sure are these four the most significant bits so this one is 8 bit you know that when you multiply to 4 bit numbers the result will be 8 bit and those are 8 bits but the 4 bits that you're going to add will be these to this one and you can see here I put here because right now it's simply connected this is not a register whatever is the value in this register goes back so zero 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 so we have here zero 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 here we have one 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 zero so naturally the sum is whenever these two are changed the new sum will be available here but I'm not taking that sum from here to here so in other words I'm not enabling this register to take a new value right this register and this entire register together with C, C is carry out. Okay, you must be wondering what is there. Carry out from the adder will be stored here. Yeah. So the, this is shift. Okay, so you must be wondering what I'm gonna shift. So I'm gonna shift B to this side. This is the same thing as I'm saying every time one i'll pick this number then i'll pick this um, binary number then this and this so i'm picking this way or 
I can always say I will always multiply the first one. But when then one I need to do, I need to shift every time. Once I multiply with this one, then sh I add it and then shift. So it's the same thing you're doing. So let's start and this is all zeros, right? This is all zeros. What you do is when you multiply with this one, so when there is one, you really need to have all these things coming. So once you multiply zero, one, 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 these are all the, I mean, total is always eight bits, so I'm putting zero, because if, keep in mind, this is unsigned multiplier. So what you do is, next is these two you add, which is same thing as this adding and this adding. There's nothing there to add. So you see it makes sense. And once you have added it, once you have added it, add is there means once you have added or loaded into register, because once you add it, you need to store this temporary data. So I'm storing it here. And what I do next time is, Next time, I should not add anything to this because for next one, I will start from here. So I can say that then the this product that I have here, the whatever adder comes, I need to shift it right. Think again, when you shift it right, you're kind of not doing anything on this side and skipping. So saying that I'm moving to this one means I'm shifting right. Okay, so you will be shifting right. In other words, is add shift right multiplier. Remember that it's no shift left. Okay, so you multiply and then you shift B and you shift product. That's all. This one you have understood. Not doing anything, all we did, we just initialized everything. So here what we are doing. So here we already when we initialized Okay, um, now we say if this is one, mean this B is one. Remember that picture because I don't think I will move that uh, to every step. If that is one, that means this in multiplier, this multiplicand will be in action like in this case it's an action because the partial product we don't have is so in that case we say okay if this is one yes it's not like a zero like in the next number it will be zero you see there's basically nothing to add so if there's nothing to add why would you add right so whenever the multiplier bit is zero we don't do anything we just shift and move on and whenever it's one, we actually bring the multiplicand into it. Or in other words, we just add them uh, when there's a so least significant bit. The first bit is one. So what we do is whatever we had previously here, right? On the previous stage, we just take it into the register. So if you remember that, you need to think of previous stage because for this stage, if you think now this thing has changed now, right? So look at previously, we had zero, we had one, 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 zero. So when you add the two together, what will be output? It will be one, 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 zero. And that's what we have, one, 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 zero. So basically this thing has come on to this thing. That's it, nothing else. It's the same picture as this and this, except the change over here. But also think that uh, this carry is whenever I'm moving back, I'm not moving back the carry bit. Keep in mind, I'm not, this, even though this line starts here, it means these four bits. So maybe I should do it. I don't want you to be confused because it's already confusing enough. But think of this, oops, oh. this is this is part of this register. I'm just drawing it on top. So if you think, look at this, uh, when you add this, this, your carry, um, oops, your carry was zero. This was already and each life is zero. So it, it value doesn't change because this is zero. So we have zero here. Okay. 
I'm sorry, this one. Okay, so you have understood everything to this point. If not, stop the video and go back. Don't move, please. Okay, now what we do is now with the one we have taken the adder output and uh, written it. In other words, if you look at this, we have this stage done. We have added this and this stage is done. Now what the next step is? Partial product 2. For partial product 2, we have to multiply this entire thing with this 0. And how you do that? So our the way we have uh, multiplication player is is this one right so you see this day we haven't shifted anything so it's still one one zero one 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 zero this is not shifting anyway and the next step we will shift this entire thing to the right so what happens zero goes here one goes here this one goes here this leave this one empty so we fill it with zero you see that this whole thing moved one bit to the right and resulting in this one so basically we threw this off keep in mind i'm doing this because this all means and this is also kind of control so right now this is our data path data is flowing through this but we are controlling data to some sort of control way means we will share it when there is one in this case there is zero we will not shift so we need to come up with some sort of hardware logic which we are not discussing here but in future, when we go into sequential and later on, we will look into both data path, which is pure combinational, and then the controller part that has um, controlling function. And both data path uh, can have registered control, can, can have registered, but typically that's how we separate the two. All right, so we shifted this whole thing and we have zero here. We also shifted this whole thing to the right. So, this everything went to the right so one bit here gone so these three zero moved here and this zero moved here this one moved here this one moved here this one moved here so you have one 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 zero and this carry moved into this bit it doesn't so you see one 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 now with this zero so carry is now leaving it zero because we moved everything to the right field is again unsigned so we're not doing any sign extension stuff and we'll talk about that so this completes one cycle or in a way they, in other word you have uh, a new bit we completed with added we shifted now we have a single a sec bubble, second bit on this place for B all right now we will repeat the same thing add and especially add if this bit is one otherwise don't add so maybe i should call it add or don't add then shift shift happen right irrespective until we have covered all the bits of b uh, but we will um, add or we will load the new bits into register only when this bit is one so now we are into second cycle and what we need to do first we need to add so if you look at now this bit is zero which means we don't need to add anything because our partial products is all zero you're multiplying with zero sorry i'm repeating things and uh, with the hope that you get the same message and again again and you understand it so if i'm annoying by saying the same thing please forgive so what you do is you don't do anything so you see that we haven't loaded so even though if you look at this one this previous example you have this zero one 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 here then this is always same if you add the two things together you get this so we have this but in this process we haven't loaded we haven't loaded this onto this see the two values are different and it is because this bit is zero Okay, what we added, I mean, we didn't add because this one. So what we do next is now we need to do shift right. Shift right we do irrespective because we need to get a new bit here. Now, look at this. This thing is shifting right by one bit. 
so these two ones are appearing now here and this is now our third bit of of b if you if you remember first one was one second one zero and third one is one what we do is and we at the same time this whole thing c and this eight bits we need to shift them right so you will see the movement that now we should have one one coming here because this one here and that's it c and two zeros you understand okay that completes two cycle because now we have third bit arrive here we are ready to multiply this okay since this is one what we do is previous adder that we have previously see after we we did a shift we got zero zero one one here and this is one zero zero no problem we to add adder always has the output when at these two input changes it will change so it is zero 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 one but there is a carry out of one and that carry out is coming here we're not storing it into this one this is the step since this is one now we will take this previous and store it so you see zero zero one zero zero one carry one replacing this zero and what we do next we add it or enable the uh, addition into this register now what we do is we shift right and now we have the last bit so as soon as last bit available we call it end of the cycle three last bit is available so what do we do we since it's one so we take the previous additions whatever was available we get into the register and this was one 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 zero this was one zero 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 you add the two things together you get zero one one zero you get a carry out one remember when we shifted this thing came here and this was zero like this so in this case this zero one one zero came here and carry one was written into the register we have added now we have to complete we have to shift we have to get rid of all the bits that we had to multiply so that becomes zero entire register so now we shifted right this one and this one so our cycle finishes on shift right both b and product so now we shift this thing in. so this one one appears this one goes here so your numbers without this start with zero one one zero one one zero and in the shift this comes here and this is zero so all the bits being multiplied for from the multiplier so that's it so answer is one zero one one zero one one zero it's the same number i used that that i had previously on uh, parallel multiplier so you can compare and i already compare results is correct hope you understood it and uh, if you're confused for anything no problem even i got confused on this when i was refreshing all this so go back redo that take your time multiplication additions are very important you will see that you will build um, some ai related structures and you will see that addition or multiplication will happen all right take care see you next time